Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to take a close look at Lamptron's Touch Fan Controller. And here is Lamptron's fan controller called the Touch. This controller is equipped with six control channels, comes with a high quality CNC machined faceplate, is capable of producing 30 watts per channel, and has automatic and manual control modes. Now this controller has no knobs or buttons and is totally touchscreen input oriented. On the back of the box you have a brief description of the controller's functionality as well as the controller's features and included contents list. For the latest information on this controller feel free to check out their website at www.lamptron.com. So let's have a look inside the box and check out what accessories come with Lamptron's Touch Fan Controller. The first thing you'll notice is Lamptron's in-depth product catalogue. You will also receive six 20-inch fan cable extensions. These are unsleeved and come with male and female three-pin connections. A seven-inch four-pin Molex power extension cable, screws for installing the controller, an alarm jumper, basic installation manual, six temperature probes, a cloth for cleaning the unit, and finally, the controller head unit itself. The fan controller is extremely well built and the front faceplate is machined from billet aluminum and has a large touch sensitive screen. So let's check out the features and functionality of Lamptron's Touch Fan Controller. The Lamptron Touch Fan Controller fits right into a single 5.25 inch drive bay. The controller's faceplate is manufactured from a solid piece of 3mm billet aluminum anodized black with a brushed surface finish. This controller is also available with a silver finish option. The touchscreen has a glare free surface that's also fingerprint and smear resistant. On the rear of the unit you have the 12 volt Molex power connector, 6 connections for the temperature probes and an alarm jumper enable for the alarm option on this unit. The alarm function is purely audio or beeper based and sounds if any temperature sensor exceeds 70 degrees C or if any fan fails to function while the controller outputs 6.5 volt or greater. On the top edge of the controller you have six fan connections and some pretty darn serious looking capacitors tied into each channel. To provide fast and responsive fan and screen control this unit comes equipped with an arm processor. So let's install the controller and check out the touch screen and controls. To power on the unit simply press the on button. You will also notice the light bulb icon on the bottom left of the screen. This controls the screen's illumination. Simply press the icon to dim the display of which there are three levels of brightness available. The control panel touch screen has a matte non glare surface that is amazingly fingerprint and smudge resistant. Another outstanding feature of this screen is the exceptional viewing angles. Whether you view from the sides or look up at extreme angles, the display is still crystal clear and fully viewable. And now to the main controller interface. This controller has six channels capable of producing up to 30 watts of power. Each channel has its own associated icon that's displayed on the touchscreen. To select a fan channel, simply press the relevant icon. From this screen you can also cycle through the fan channels by scrolling with the arrow icons or press the back button and select the next channel you want to view. On the top left corner of the screen you can monitor each fan channel's activity by either voltage output or the fan's RPM. In the top right corner you have the ability to monitor temperature in degrees C or degrees F. To switch modes, simply press the screen. When complete, press the back button and return to the main channel selection screen. Control mode of all six channels is available in manual and automatic modes. In manual control, you can increase or decrease fan speed by using the slider bar and channel output is displayed as a percentage. To set up automatic control, select the automatic option. Press the fan icon for several seconds until the icon starts to flash. Now set the temperature threshold on the controller by using the arrow icons. This is the set point at which the fan will increase to 100%. 
You can also adjust the fan's default speed by using the slider bar. However, in this instance we kept the default speed to 44%. And with automatic control available on all six channels, it's very easy to set up a multi-zone temp control within your system. Overall, Lamptron's touch fan controller is an outstanding piece of equipment. Everything on this controller just reeks quality from the durable all-metal construction, matte finish and smudge-free touchscreen, simple user interface and best of all, automatic control with six channels capable of 30 watts each. So, what are the cons of this product? Well, for a suggested retail price of 70 US dollars, I would expect to see some quality sleeving on the accessory extension cables. The touchscreen can also be a little glitchy when you try to make small adjustments to set points or navigate through the channels. But with that said, adjustment accuracy did improve the more I used the unit. Lamtron's touch fan controller is 100% Troubadour approved. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube or even swing by our forums at www.troubadourforums.com where only the true enthusiasts hang out.